He's always ready. So, did we take a um, rest? Um, Especially well, if he's muted. No, we haven't. Okay. We haven't taken a rest yet, boss. <laughs> hey, I'm back. Um, I was trying to open Sirenscape and I used the same window. So, um, oh god, I'm bored. <laughs> shut up. Um, so when we last left our heroes, as it were, um, you guys had just defeated what uh, is were known as White Guardian Drakes or something like that. Yeah. Um, and you were left. I don't know. You guys, I know you guys are, are a little beat up, but you uh you got a chest in front of you. Yeah. So I'm, I I want to go the last one and collapsed. I want to I want to go over to it and like get real close to it and do like a perception check to see if I can he- hear, or smell, or feel any like traps or anything. Booby trap. Sure. Go for it. Sixteen. Uh, it seems fine. I open it. Okay. Cool. It's unlocked and open. Um, inside, you find the following. Um, I don't know if anybody wants to write this down, but I have it. Um, and I can copy and paste it somewhere. You find 600 gold pieces total. Cool. You find... I got that. I'll find... I'll... Don't worry. I'll find ways for you guys to spend that. You find three common healing potions. Nice. You find three greater healing potions. Nice. You find two scrolls of third level magic missile. Ooh, nice. You find one scroll of Cone of Cold. And I would say the piece de resistance, you see, you find one mithril breastplate. Ooh. Dibs. <laughs> um, you, I think you both are going to want that. Uh, actually, I don't actually, know it does. It, it, the, the only, thing only it'll, bonus it'll give Boz is he will uh, not have disadvantage on stealth. Correct. But it boosts Austin's AC and still allows him Fine. to be able to stealth. <laughs> uh, you just got a shadow fucking greatsword over there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I want it all. I understand. I want it now. I, I, I can respect that. I don't think it's good. Um. I mean, right, you guys right. talk amongst yourself. I don't care who gets it. Um, John no, yeah, it if you guys want to wanna roll, if you guys want to roll off, I, that's also fair. Right. By the way, Adam Q's right next to me. She sang the same song. <laughs> nice. So I hand out the gold. I give. I mean, is John the one who can use the the scrolls? Yeah. John, I hand over the scrolls. These look like some sort of magic artificery. I think this and is up your realm. He's going to open one. Yes! Uh, yes, I know exactly what these are. Ah, uh, yeah, I could use these. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, and he's he's got to put them in his pocket. Okay. No, he, I mean, he no, uh, well, he'd have to roll an arcana check to, like, I don't know that he's ever used a scroll before. I don't even know. If, is there I got, like, a that? 16, so I feel like he knows what magic scrolls are, and they're written in common, so he's going to be able to read, oh, magic missile scroll. He may not know what magic missile does, but he'll find out when he uses it. <clears throat> so, can uh, I, can I, uh, I got, so you have the gold, Austin? Or are you just splitting that yeah, three, split ways? three ways? Yeah, we split it up. No problem. So everybody yeah. take 200, 200. gold? This breastplate looks very fine. Braddock, I think it might help you be a bit more quiet, although it might help me a little bit more in fighting. What? How do you feel about it? I don't know. I do like to talk, but you can go ahead and have it. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I, I put it on. I put it on. So everybody take... Uh, shoot... I mean, if everybody ta- takes one potion, I think Ace is going to take both of his now, unless we're going to take some sort of rest. No, I'm going to do the same. Okay, so uh, which potion is it? So you have a greater and a regular common healing potion. One's worth 20 and one's worth 10. So we can um, add 30 because we're out of combat, right? Yeah, we can add 30. I mean, that puts me at 34, which ain't bad. That puts you back up 43. 
Are you so you guys are popping potions already? Popping uh, well, we're talking about it, so don't. So I'm. So we still have. We each. You two should both have a greater. Already have one greater potion. No, I used mine on Bob. No, no, no. Yeah, we had I spent have. those in the combat before that, or I spent one in the combat before that, and I think I Boz did too. No, well, I, I have was, one. I was rocking uh, like what thirteen hit points, so I'm definitely yeah. popping mine. Well, no, hold on. If we are we going to take any type of rest? Because if we are, we shouldn't pop any I mean, potions till after that rest. I don't know if it would take a rest when there could be another battle. Like there could be somebody else. Riding. No, not a long rest, but like we did before, we want to do another short rest. I'm not saying we should. I mean, that's up to. The I mean, I I would I don't think so. I would. Well, I would we decide. Okay, so you don't you think guys, we would. It's up to you of what you guys want to do. Uh, yeah. you, if you you do you think so? Is Natsua going to tell us we should push on? Yeah, it looks like yeah. we have some potions that would allow us to get to the so point. We, if, we, if we decided to take them both right now, it would be 30 extra uh, yeah. points. Okay. So, so everybody wants that. to take them now? Yeah, rather than adding it to my inventory, I'm just going to add the yeah. points. Because I was at four. Well, what, what were you at for hit points? Me? Yeah. 19. 19, and how, what's your max? 48. 48. So, so now I'm maxed. So if you just added twenty to that, that would have yeah, put you, you at thirty-nine. You might want to keep that smaller one. Okay. Would I mean, well thirty-nine of forty-eight. Yeah, so you're you're at nine more hit points of damage left. Yeah. Um, do you want to heal that and be a full? That's up to you. If you just want to be well, a full, here's you the can thing, Bob. You might not. You might be able to take it later. But if we're in combat, you'll have to roll for it. Right now, you get max. Not, not necessarily if he uses his action. He can get Max healing in combat, but he has to no, sacrifice. I, I an still attack. have I still have a potion in my inventory side that I have not used. So I'll okay, so it. if you have that, then yeah. I yeah, thought we were completely out of potions. No, if you have that, then we should be good. Yeah. Well, he's the one I'd want to have it. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, that's I, I haven't had to use it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm good. I pop mine. I'm at 43 of 47, so I'm, I'm happy. And now I'm going to add that Mithro Breastplate. Okay, and I have two scrolls of Magic Missile, third level, and one scroll Cone of Cold. And I'm guessing that's just regular fifth level? Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's dope. I don't know that the Cone of Cold will help me in here. I don't know that I will risk using it in here. But, just in case, everything in here is probably going to be resistant to that shit. Yeah, so my AC is now 18. With your shield. With the shield. Correct. And without it, you're at 16. That's so, the, yeah, I mean, that's still, even without so, it, now, I, feel, I feel a little bit more confident without that, the shield. That basically puts you guys at the same, uh, same AC. So that's super helpful. Yeah, and I can wield, I can go, I can go two-handed and do a little bit more damage, but still have some decent protection. So, I don't know how to do that, though. Cool, so yeah, we're ready to go. So we pop our pills, put on a breastplate, and can try them. Yeah, does it? Healing potions, do they help out with uh, spell slots? Nope. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the only thing that'll get you back your spell slots is Rest. long rest. So, uh, that's what I was I was going to bring that up when you guys get to go. Boss has zero if spell If we get slots. to level five, he'll get three before his next rest. R right. But currently, he's at none. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to turn this here real quick, and I'm going to peek around this corner. Okay. Uh, there's two big doors there. I'm going to peek around this corner. Uh, okay. Uh, let me get the reveal tool out. Um, what you see is a chasm, and you see, like, across the chasm, you see another wall to the, to the fortress, castle, whatever the fuck we're calling this. Yeah. Um, and you see, it's it's open. So this is open air, right? Like, yeah. Like there's blustery winds and shit. It's pretty windy up in this bitch. 
because like there's like wind this this like uh, this black part it's like a under under the castle tunnel so like wind is just whipping through this shit so there's a big like canyons in here yeah yeah um, it's it's pretty it's pretty loud at this up there um, this, this these little walls were giving you a little bit of cover what about over here there, I mean is it just oh sorry uh, yeah it's more wall um yeah, it's it's walls. Sorry, city. We have to go through these doors. I mean, you can jump off the canyon and end it. All. Well, we that's <laughs> certainly <laughs> always. That's so. not, I mean, you want to do that? What's the average jump? This is uh, dumb and the no, way here's, oh, here's so with, before you get all hit, all 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 froggy about jumping. I'm gonna tell you that these like these darker areas of their cliffs and their ice. Yeah. So, good luck. <laughs> it's, it's going to be very I mean, it's Stua is smart enough to know that uh, he's not going to be able to do that. I mean, you really just need to jump this. It's all ice, but yeah. Yeah, and then you walk can, you the rest can, of the way. It's, yeah, this is very, this is very can, steep over there, too. That's going to be high difficulty because it's an ice and cliff. Walk around. Right. It's all very steep and very slippery. <laughs> I, I, try. I, I, I was just having I fun being like, John Madden for a second. I sure. can like over what I told you guys. Um, there's, there's, the nothing whole there. there's nothing up there, and there's these doors, which don't seem to be like opening on their own. If we did want to take a short rest to cover some of your, some of your arcana magical strength, right? I'm fully strengthened up. Well, my right? leg is. My leg is stretching right now. It's it, it's twinking. I want to get, kick that door. Yeah, they Brett kick that door, friend. Brett yeah. can't get his magic back in this particular rest. Well, then, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. You might gain some stuff on your short rests. Long so long. you see, uh, you open the door and you see a path to the left and the door. All right, I want to pick around this corner. said there's a door up here. Is Do you there? want to kick it? Hell yes. I think you gotta say nothing but a word. I'm, I'm gone down. The kids are saying, say less. I believe. I'm very happy. Kick doors. Okay, so you kick the door. Um, actually. Wait, hold on a second. Pause real quick. Okay. Uh-huh. Anything? Say less? Yeah. It means like, uh, it's like enough said. That's what the kids are saying. Why would you just say enough said? Well, because they're, they're new they, and they have to make up their own lingo for their generation. They're making like their own jargon. It's like, you don't say, like, groovy and righteous. Don't I mean, be maybe, like our parents and, and, and besmirch these kids because they're being themselves. Yeah, so you see, yeah, stare. Hey, well, that's fine. And there you go. See, you did it. You see, it's never going to fucking happen. Never gonna fucking happen. <laughs> and on today's episode of Sesame I mean, like, Street, like, Rick, can we get these two in a podcast about young people jargon? That'd be yeah. a yes. fucking no. They should it's just, like you explaining young people jargon. They should to just us. come out. They should just have a podcast <laughs> describing the new words that were added to the dictionary every year. <laughs> Oh, God. And how to use them in a sentence. I really wish that... No, 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 fuck that. We don't tell them what they mean, and they have to guess. <laughs> oh, God, yes. <laughs> even better. Yeah. So, we yeah. need to do this podcast, guys. You see stairs going Three on. on Saturdays? <laughs> All right. Gentlemen, uh, it seems as we have... Up, they seem to follow the path down the hall. We like have a look at the road. Should we try and go to the end of this hallway to see what's down there? Should we go to see what's down or should we just pick one and see what happens? I mean, I'm good with the, one, the door that's in front of me right now. You, you already kicked it open. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. That's what, that's what I'm saying. You're going to go hey, you're gonna go up the stairs. Yes. Okay. I will keep revealing. Get that out. Uh, it comes to like a landing with a wall. 
I sneak around and look at the corner. Okay. You see a hallway that's similar, but you know since you just went upstairs that it's higher up than the other one. Uh, in, in total, you can tell that you went up about 20 feet. Okay. Uh, you got like a 10 foot, you got a standard ceiling above you. I rolled a uh, 23 for stealth and 15 for perception. I'm going to sneakily and very carefully work my way down to the end of this thing. Okay. okay, so you feel like you went undetected. Um, and with your perception, you see another very long hallway but let me tell you this around you see this like column right here oh yeah you see that once the column is right there the wall ends and you see like a uh, uh, so if I were to say like a banister if I were to come right here and sneak like people are very uh-huh. low to the ground not like I'm not you're just right you're just peeking your little nosy around yeah I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a little bit. Um, you see... Um, you got you see, you see more than that, so hang on. Let me, let me give you a little more. You see um, a drop-off. Uh, looks like 20 feet back down. And you see a couple of columns. And you see uh, more of the same, like, kind of frosty rock stone floor. But it's the same shit you've been on, so you don't think it's, like, slippery. But um, with the with the little tiny peeksy you, you decided to take, that's what I'm gonna give you. So I'm gonna come back here and have okay. a little hubbub yeah. with the guys and tell everyone about to, to okay, no, no, no. tell everyone to take out their ranged weapons. Okay. And get ready for because we're up at the dock and we're gonna be down there and attack us. We might be able to take a few shots and then run back away, back over here. Do we need to get a look? Uh, that would, uh, hey, that would be fantastic. Let me let me interrupt. Austin, when you peeked around, you felt a stronger you felt a breeze again. Uh, it's similar to what you felt when you were uh, before you came through the double door, like by the chasm. It's a, it's a similar feel. Seems like there might be some sort of trap or some sort of uh, warning or something with the breeze, like or maybe it'd be Ace, do you have something that might be able to go in and do a reconnaissance undertaker? Well, I can make one of us invisible. I'll, I'll go. I, I could call some extra familiars, but maybe we spotted it. Invisibility might be interesting, Braddock. Well, with, in, with invisibility, Braddock, you also need to be quiet. And uh, unfortunately, your arm is a little loud. Well, Ace, no one better here than you. Um, I don't want to so, put ideas in your head, John, but can you make your, your familiar invisible? I can. I wouldn't see and why not. I, I have thought about that. I'm sure you did. Uh, so, uh, the way I see it, our best options would be either you or Milo, Your Majesty. Well, I wouldn't mind. Well, as far as being undetected. I think being invisible might sound somewhat fun. Okay, or I was also going to suggest that you two stay up here. I, I guide you when you're down. I don't go all the way and let the entire thing go on its own. So that way, if it needs help, I'm right there when you two are above. That's cool. I'm going to do that. Yeah, but what could possibly go wrong? So, so you're, that's it. So I think your plan is assuming that this hallway. Uh, will lead yeah. to here. Yes. But there doesn't seem to be an opening here. No, no, no. I... Hang on. Let me let me tell you. The opening, this the opening I was telling you about, it goes all the way to the end. There's a pillar up up the top. Is that hanging? No, 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 no. So this opening down here, this hallway yeah. oh, that we yes. have not seen. Yeah. I think Boz is assuming that there is a hallway through to here. But okay. the way the map looks to me, and this is kind of metagaming, is that that's going to move back up around here. Because there's no opening here, Boz. So I understand what you're saying, yeah. but if he's going in, he's going to fly over the rail. That's fine, too. Because we don't know what... Like, we can send him this path, 
once he goes in here, we, we will have it for um, invisibility is going to last. Like 10 minutes, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's a good chunk of time. It might be an hour. Um, so invisibility is one hour. There you yep. go. So it'll last for up to an hour. So I can have him go check out the rest of the, the place in this Fine. Um, go ahead, send your, send your pet. So are you making are you making Milo invisible? Uh yes. I'm gonna go ahead. Let me double check his stat block real quick. Okay. Plus I guess. stealth. Where are you at for stealth, Austin? I'm pretty good. I'm proficient in it. What's so your good. bonus? Five. Plus five. So you're better than uh, Milo at stealthing. So if you would like to do it, but he has dark vision in case it gets dark. But it has not been dark. Either. No, it's all been it's it's been better than dim light, but not like super. Gotcha. It's not imposing any mechanical benefits. Oh, gotcha. I'm just trying to create an, an uh, atmosphere. It's, it's your call, Your Majesty. You're leading us here. What would yeah, you like me like to do? I, I think it might be interesting to see what it's like to be invisible. Who can uh, hit me with some rays? Oh, um, so I'll uh, cast invisibility on him, and he turns invisible the next hour. Sorry, Braddock. I know you wanted to go invisible. We can do it another time. I promise. I just like killing somebody close. Oh, uh, great. That's why it's good to get a lay of the land. And we can get in there and fuck them up. Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. New name, your new nickname, your, your uh, test driving. It's more of a saying, you know. They say it down in uh, Saskatoon. Fuck them up, Charlie. They had this hero, Charlie, that used to fuck people up right in the town square if they did anything wrong. Never heard oh. that story? Um, Titan scored a touchdown. John take 19 <laughs> damage. Psychic damage. 19 million. I'll be taking none of that. Fuck off. Hill, <laughs> 68-yard <laughs> drive. You guys are fucked. If he's putting up 68 yards on the open drive, you're fucked. Jesus Christ, I didn't get a D&D game. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, we should be uh, better than that. Adam and Mike's team is playing right now. So, so you're going to have to deal so with that. You make Austin invisible. Yeah, okay, Tank. Make Austin I mean, invisible. I mean, you don't do that with sports. Austin. Okay, Tank. You want me to re-roll uh, re the No. Uh, no, you're fine. You. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, I come uh, over here and I take. <laughs> God damn. Okay, so you. Okay, let me. Let me just. I'm just gonna open up some stuff here. So what you see? Oh, you're stuck too. Yep. What you see is. Very large room. Uh, you can tell that from floor, and by floor I mean down where these pillars are. This is 20 feet down. Are you, so you see the floor you 20 feet. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm your tits. Um, you see this room is 50 feet tall. So there's 20 feet down to the floor, and there's 30 feet above you past the banister. You go up there, and what you see is. There, you are running into the wall. You think you think. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Adam, are we supposed to see red and blue lines on the screen? Yep, I'm, I'm getting there. Okay. So, what I Austin... I just wanted to make sure you weren't showing us the fucking trap. No, nope, you're fine. Um, I believe everything I have is good. I wrote that 50 there to remind me how tall this is. Um, the blue is it's a very large sheet of ice. The red, you see, um, you see what appears to be some sort of magical field. 
Um, it's it's kind of it's it's almost opaque. Um, you can see some some shadows behind it, um, but think like uh, also I don't know if you've seen Ghostbusters too, but like when the museum is covered in pink slime, mm. kind of like that. Um, but it's it's mostly opaque, but you can see movement back there, and then uh, to, to the north you also see a giant hole blown in the side of this thing, and snow is piling. It's just flowing in here, and it's fairly windy. And I don't see anything like any monsters or people or anything. Like nope. No. Nope. Yeah, the, the only the only thing you see is what I've. So it's 50 feet down, right? No, 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 no. From the back. 20, 20 feet, 20 feet down. 20 feet down from here, there's like a 20 foot drop here, gotcha. down to the floor. And then from the floor, it's 50 feet to the ceiling. So like, so like on this level, the ceiling would be 30 feet higher. Yeah. So like that's, yep. Okay. So, so we so should. I go back and I tell the guys it looks like there's a bunch of shit going on. There's some crazy shit going on. Half the room is blown open to the freezing outside. And it doesn't look like there's any obvious way to get down there at all. You like, could. There, so, okay, let me clear that up too because I did a bad job. This, like, uh, rocky area, you think you could, like, if you jumped over the rail, you think you could probably slide down and be fine. So, maybe we should go back out and see what was downstairs and see what we can see from down there. I mean, okay. could we climb over the ledge with a rope? Well, probably. Yeah, we probably could. Secure ourselves and be perfectly safe? If you care. Yeah. He would have told you that you would but without more, I feel a little bit slide down. I feel a little concerned about going down there without being around the corner from the other hallway. I mean, that's up to you guys. I, I'm here for what you want to do, Your Majesty. Braddock, do you have an opinion on this? No, because both options seem reasonable, so we might as well just continue, well, continue on uh, up here. So, you want to just scout out the other hallway, still invisible? Yeah, that's a good idea. You got plenty of time. I would say, I would say at the uh, most, with the with the searching and this conversation, why you're supposed to call it a minute, a minute and a half or so. So, I'm going to go back by myself. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, should we go down the hallway and wait in case it gets in control of the Yeah. Uh, I can go if you want to stay up here. Uh, no, he means just go over here. Yeah, yeah. Right. No. Okay. Right? Well, that's where I find you. That's okay, what you meant, right, John? Tail him a little bit? Yeah, that's where I put us. Cool. So what do I see down here? Uh, this is a super fucking long hallway. I mean, no spookier than any of the other hallways. I mean, the other, like, like, so back, back where the chest was, you got the fight, but it's not any more threatening than you don't feel any more threatened. We've, we've been attacked by dragons, harpies, and fucking uh, oh, ogres gosh. in here. This has been a pretty creepy Yeah, I mean, cast. I would say you don't feel any more reassured or, or unassured. You're, yeah, I would say you're... you're, 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 you're All right. Not what it should be. Here's, here's my idea for a plan. Whatever's in there, why we have any reason to think that we are here. Because so far, none of the creatures have come to attack us. So, from what I can tell, if there is something in there, it's currently unaware of how many we might be down here. Yes, thank you. Her Majesty, I think you're forgetting that we walked through a magical portal that brought us directly to the front door. They know we're here. Well, wasn't that the genie who brought us here? 
the Janie Slam flew through a portal that brought us here. Yes, well, either way, I think if we went up back up to the top ceiling balcony area, from there I could go down invisible still and do some more searching to see if I can trigger any traps. They won't see that you guys are up here, so you guys can then either like go you could you'd have more freedom of movement to go up here and then come and like attack them from the side or the back or anywhere else. But if I go down there I can search it out a little bit. But there's no reason they won't be able to see us. Well no, you guys would stay here for now and then I would go down and So yeah, you want us up here on the balcony, right? I think that I think that's the last likely where they would think to look for backup. Oh, I understand that. I'm just saying we look at this. Can I bring one more thing while you guys are discussing this? Just so you know, because I didn't explicitly state this, these like pillar things, they're floor to ceiling. Okay. okay. That's or, fine. I just wanted to make sure. Or we could just go in there and, as my friend Braddock here has shown, uh, bust into their front door and then we just pop them up. I mean, I lo- we reserve I, to re- whoop any customer's I, ass. I like you going up up this uh, hallway and maybe coming out this opening, uh, Your Majesty, and us just hopping the fence. They won't know you're there. They come after us, and you can fuck them up from the rear. Yeah, that also works for you. I'll stand behind you, Braddock. How does that sound? Not good thing. So my favorite go, shield. So yeah. I'm going to go up here, and you guys are going to come and jump over the top of me? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. That gives us some stealth and some fucking yeah. kick-assery and all that good stuff. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. No, you're good. I, I knew what you were doing. So, Austin, Nisua comes up here. Yeah. It is, um, it is exactly a fucking ball of heat. Fucking ball of shit. It takes a little bit longer and it costs a little bit money, but the auto of the is pretty bad. You shut your poor mouth. Uh, it is exa- exactly as John surmised that it does loop around. Um, and you see this big, giant fucking hole. Do I see anything out? Is this just like outside over here? It's outside, and it's it's snowy. Um, you, you, you kind of get the feeling that it's probably pretty sheer down there. Like maybe not a place you want to walk. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm here. Look, I'm peeking around the corner, very stealthily, waiting for. At that point, I say we jump into the room. Slide down a little slope, then Adam says it's not that bad. Nah, you're not gonna so. take any. You can, you can. You're wise enough to know <laughs> to know that you're not gonna take any damage. Just going down the slope. So, uh, Austin, are you still up in the corner, or where are you at? I'm where I'm at. Yeah. Okay. So you guys jump down the thing, and uh, what happens is you all hear. But for some reason, you can tell that you're not hearing it through your ears. It's in your mind. And it says, the voice says, Welcome to your tomb. You can make fine additions to our project. Yes, the pieces of the heroes of Shugo. Bringing, bringing those to the collection. That'll make me... That'll, that'll look real good on my resume. Get your ass out here. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not how this works. So this is going to look real good. It's going to look real good on my resume. Don't worry, though. When it happens, I'm going to thank you. You're going to be in my thank you so much. You know? And when your colony is destroyed and Stone Shore is sunk, your story will be told. It'll probably just be a footnote. We're messing with the wrong people. We have great, powerful, magical friends at our disposal. This is a 
the, the voice says, uh, yes, Mr. Johnson, I'm well aware of your status. Who are you speaking of? I am Ace Burbank. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course yeah. you are. Aren't you just looking at Master of the Arcane. Yes, I, yes. I know John every so often you sound like a Thermian from uh, Galaxy Quest. You told me that like the first night I Did started. I? Yeah. Is that who the guys that Rain Wilson is? Yeah, one of the ones that... Like, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sorry. Fine. Yeah, no, no, you're fine. Great um, fucking movie. The, uh, the voice goes on uh, says, yes, it's Mr. Johnson. I, I know all about you. You're in love. I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed watching your shit. Um, unfortunately, all the crimes against me and my company will be exposed and the truth will set everyone free. Do you, um, do you have any so business? About us? Why don't you come out here so we can learn more about you? I'm good. I'm good exactly where I'm at. Um, any, any further business to discuss before I finish my task? Do your worst. Um, we are the heroes of Shuba. Those who does not fall to you. So, so you say do your worst, and at that moment, uh, where the red, where the, uh, the pink goo thing I said, it kind of, um, it becomes more, more transparent. You can still tell that there's like a, like a sheen there. Um, and what you see is, um, you see a little man, um, He's on the ground. Um, he's kind of up against the wall, seated upright in the fetal position, and he is super cold. Uh, hang on. Uh, in the red box. Um, the little man, he's very foppish. Um, he's got like a horseshoe haircut that like, kind of twists out into... He, he looks very much like the Who's from Jim Carrey's Grinch. Basically the mayor... But short right and and thinner. Come and down here. you see, uh, you see. Before you get the movie, you see, uh, you see a couple of other figures. Um, they're dressed pretty much like um, they're dressed much like the, the citizens of Shubel. Um, and the uh, the voice says, "So no other business then. Um, I guess I'll get to doing it." And, uh, yeah, what do you guys do? Uh, should we inspect this? Yeah, I was just about to say this. Look. Magical look. field. Uh, come down here, take the lead. And he's going to motion you down here so you don't go through the icy world. All that is, all that is, is, uh, sorry, I should have told you. All that blue is, it's just difficult to rain. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking of, like, sleep stone, so. Nope. Um. It's just extra icy right there. Gotcha. Um, uh, I said we go right here. And can I make an arcana check? Yeah. It's magic with you. Have at it. Oh, that's nice. That should be... Maybe 18. Yeah, 18. Um, okay, you can detect that this is a wall of force. Um, but now that you're closer... Uh, Austin, where are you at right now? So I'm still uh, hoping they remain... Like, I'm still... Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, you're invisible. I'm gonna come let us, let us she, You also hear the voice say, "You don't want to play Your Majesty." Um, before you moved, you hear that. Um, but yes, you are still invisible. I would say, what do you think? What do you think's fair for uh, time left on invisibility? Probably a couple of minutes. Well, it, it was for an hour, right? How long did oh, it, it take him to look up this oh, hallway? Yeah, it's was an it hour long. It's an hour? Okay, yeah, you're yeah. fine. Don't worry about it. But that. the first time he acts, it's gone. No, no, no. I, yeah, I'm, I'm aware. I was stuck on that it was yeah. 10 minutes in my head. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, totally, you're totally fine on invisibility. Yeah. You can also play when he talks, but I didn't um, think you were going to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's fine. Um, the voice knows you're there. You don't see where the voice is coming from, um, but you see, like I said, you see, yeah, you see the foppish man, and um, you see, uh, you guys know who I'm talking about, right? Was it Jeffrey Tambor? Yeah. 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 Uh, you see him. He looks beaten and cold as fuck. Everybody else that's in there—it's just a few people. It's like, um, it's like a child and a woman and 
she's got like her she's like trying to shield the she's like uh, got her arms around the child and then there's another man who's kind of just off by himself pretty plain looking um, John or, or Ace and Braddock now that you're a little closer you see a um, you see a circle or a, you see an orb inside the field um, but it's up and it's elevated it's probably like 40 feet in here. So there's an opening to it, but it's 40 feet in the air. This red box? Yeah. Goes floor to ceiling. Goes floor to ceiling. Okay. Yep. But you can see an orb about 40 feet in the air, which actually I don't think. Let's see. Let me see. I did draw this. Uh, there it is. Uh, bam. It's right there. And it's like 40 feet in the air. But it's inside. It's inside, it's inside the wall of force, yes. Yeah, there's no way to get to that. Correct. Um, the voice is like, um, well, I see you've, you've, uh, you've come a little closer, and that's all great. Um, but I'm about done here. Um, so, see ya. And you, I want everybody to make a perception check. So Nitsua, Nitsua and Braddock, you guys here amongst the wind, like every so often uh, through the wind you hear. It's like a different wind noise. And then, um, you know, you hear that for, I want to say like two to three full seconds, which is, you know, when you count it out, it's long. Um, and then start to see cloudiness, like a, you see an, an opacity up here, and it's getting larger, and I'm going to need everybody to roll for initiative. And let's have some fucking fun, boys. This doesn't sound fun. Nice initiative, Austin. 11. 11 also. Uh, who's got the better mod? Roll, roll off. I think you got me, boss. Roll a d20. Oh, a d20. Yeah. I mean, we could take that and it'd just be a 14. You got me yeah. smashed. Yeah, you got me smashed. I got a 3. Okay, so Ace is last. Yeah, Ace is last. Out of the, the three, three of us. Yeah. Okay. okay. So. Like I said, you hear this noise, and this opacity gets bigger, and soon enough, you guys see from there a large white dragon, and it's flying towards you. Um, Nitsua, you, you're up, man. You're right there. You're still invisible. Um, like John said, the first, but I think it's what, what the spell is it? Axe? Attacks or uh, speech. So is this if he speaks, here? it dispels it. I I think it does. Um, I think that's one of the things where they or I think it's if they hear you. Um, so do, 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 do. let me. Anything the target is wearing is visible. The spell ends for the target that attacks or casts a spell. Cast text so, spell. Okay. So as yes, long as I you know. don't attack or cast a spell, you're gonna remain. Invisible. Is this thing over here still the wall? You're not, you're not going to be able to get to that orb. The wall of force will kill you. Trying to get to it. Well, I know it's a wall of force, and Ace would say that's very dangerous. You should not be close to it. The wall of force, Ace, you would also know it doesn't do any damage to you. Can't but, it move? Or it's no, not able to be broken. No. But the only thing that gets it, it can't be dispelled by dispel magic. The only thing that can really do it is disintegrate. Gotcha. The only way to get through that is a disintegration spell. Unfortunately, I do not know that. Do 
Did you have all that? You had that movement, I presume. Yeah, that was just 30 feet. That's cool. Okay, um, it's the dragon's turn, because it got a 16. Um, God, I love playing dragons. I get it awesome, I do. Um, yeah, yeah. The, dragon, the dragon is going to, I mean, surprise, surprise. It's going to fly down, and it's going to use its breath weapon um, on, well, I guess all three of you. Not, not Mitsua, um, but it's going to come down here. It's going to. Well, Milo's out of this combat. Yeah, um, that's a bummer because I do like Milo. Um, I, yep. I need you guys to make uh, Constitution saving throws. Ten. And Milo got a seven on the die. Have thirteen. Yeah, just go ahead and make it more Milo. Uh, Baj, you're fine. Yeah. Um, I have adjusted this this dragon just because it's uh, a little bit out of your guys' wheel house. Uh, Boz is fine. John, what'd you say you got? I'm sorry. Um, I got a 10. Okay. Yeah, you failed. And uh, so did Milo. You got a Milo's going to be toast because you know, I'll tell you how much damage. Yeah. Okay. Dragon uh, keeps flying, and it's, it's up here, and it's um, let's say 15 feet up in the air. Hey, so uh, I took seven. How many combat damage? What did I? I was 17. You take eight. Okay. Um, even and made, even though I missed it. Yeah, because it's half. I rolled 17. John, you, I told you to take 17, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you take half. That's how a lot of these things work. Um, Wait, oh, he takes no damage. He's right. He has with your, your, your feet, right? Yeah, he has shield master. He takes no damage. Yep, you did. That's correct. I forgot about it. You nice. take no damage. What about people that are behind you, feet? No. It, 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 it works like fireball. It does not it, do it, that, it but it, it should because he has that feet. But I'm not going to argue. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, it mechanically, it doesn't do that in the book, so... Yeah. We're not going to home through the middle of a dragon fight. <laughs> I don't blame like that. Yep. Uh, so, Braddock, you're up. Okay, you said it's flying, too? Yep. Yep. 15 feet in the air. 15 feet in the air. So I'm going to have a go to it. Yeah, right now. Um, actually, I'll tell you what. Why doesn't everybody give me a history? We've dragons our history check. Yeah, everybody give me a history check so we can really learn some shit. Twenty. Nice, nice. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll just pretend like that happened before the press button. Um. So you know that it is. Uh, immune to cold. It. They're immune to cold. It has uh, 30 feet of blind sight. And see in the dark. 120 feet of dark vision. Blind sight doesn't let you see invisible creatures. Yes, it does. Does it? Yeah. Does it let you? No, 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 no. Smell like. Within a creatures without eyes, you know, and echolocation is like, It doesn't say anything about having being able to see invisible creatures. It's more like if your vision gets impaired. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried. Austin is still uh, undetected. Okay. Um, okay. 
you know that it's it's got it's got a fuck ton. This thing's got over a hundred. I'm gonna tell you that right now. And it's got three attacks. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, this. Don't is... worry. I know what I I know what I'm in here. I don't want you to worry. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. But, I uh, mean, if if like if you did the CR six freaking white dragon, we should be fine. We should be able to make it out. If you did yeah, something else, no, uh, no, that's uh, it. What the fuck? But I've tweaked but, it. Yeah. Uh, um, not not to make it harder. I've actually tweaked it to make it easier. Yeah. Um, but yeah, here it's the right one. Um, oh, you also know that it, I don't know any of its snap lock. You also know, know that it can climb. It can climb any of these walls. It can stick with the ceiling. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's all you know. Uh, okay, I'm um, staying put and going to drive on. 25. Yep, that'll do it. There we go. 11 person. Let's start tracking this. Bingo. I'll find it. Uh, okay. Uh, on that note, Ace, you're up, my guy. Uh, Boz's. What you got, Ace? Uh, he's gonna shout real quick before he acts. Should I take a big risk, or should I just bubble be doing that? At this point, I think we need to risk it. Because uh, uh, I have a spell. Austin, when you yell that, you if uh, you you oh, that's where you're at, you can't see the dragon, but you hear like 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 the foley work in a movie. You hear its head turn, and Ace, you see its head turn in Austin's direction. Okay, uh, he's invisible. I'd so be careful have, if I were you, little brother. I have an idea, but I don't know if it would work with uh, our history check. Would I know if it's immune to any types of charming effects? Hang on. This top one. Uh, the top one is... No. Wait. What are you... Oh, no. For sure it wouldn't be like... Sorry. Um, okay. John, say your question again. With the history check we made, would I know if it's immune to any types of charm effects? Uh, it is not. Uh, uh, let me double check, but no, I don't see anything right now. I mean, the best way does, to does anybody have a point of inspiration? I, I, I would think, I would, I think Austin got one last yes. time. Austin got one, and I have one. Uh, because I want to try to make a save or suck spell, but a point of inspiration on this dragon... Having rolled disadvantage would be super awesome. Oh yeah, for sure. I'll take mine. Okay. Well, I don't care who's you take. But you can leave one more time. Uh, what kind of save am I rolling here, John? Uh, it's um, gonna be Mister. It's gonna be a wisdom save, Mister Dragon. I suggest you leave this place, fly far, far away, and find a new place to lay your head. The dragon says. And you threaten him. Cool move. And he rolls his wisdom save with disadvantage. I rolled a 16. I rolled a 13 and a 14 with a plus 3 in my wisdom. Fuck you, 15 DC. <laughs> what was that? Suggestion. Ooh, that would have been interesting. Uh huh. Huh? Because I'm pretty sure flea is one of the things. Fucking every time I come up with a cool way to end a fucking combat. Dude, I totally would have let you. I... Yeah. It's a good move. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I wasted... Who, who gave that point of inspiration? I'm sorry. I didn't. No, it'll work. I that, he, he would have left and just gone and found a new lair. Yep. If that spell worked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, it, it was worth the risk, boss. I, no, I, I just wanted fun. you to know that. <laughs> Again, I hate you. 
There's nothing to say you can't try again. I don't have any more spell slots, so yes, there is. Oh, invisibility. Oh, bummer. That's why I said I could take a big risk. Damn it. Yep. It's okay. Has no oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move back. Uh, but that's my turn. Damn, um, Sorry, guys. That's just a little depressing. Great idea. Um, Austin, you're up. You're still. I love suge- suggestions. Such a good fucking spell. It is. The fact that it's Saber Suck is probably correct. No, and I'm fine with the risk. Yeah. But with two spell slots... It makes it harder. So... <coughs> I mean... Yeah, it's a dragon. So, great. I'm gonna move here. And I'm gonna do a dragon. You're gonna be through a lot of pillars and have a good shot. Dude. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a straight shot. Yeah, but the way cover works, this thing can spot. Sorry, I'm choking. How does it have a cover? All of the pillars. But what you have to be able to do <clears throat> is take every corner of your square and draw it to every corner of its square. Trust me, it's almost fine. Oh my god. That's a crit. That's you. Oh, crit of a long Great. Um, will you be doing any additional damage sir, on your crit? I, I don't have... Oh, yeah, I don't have any damage. So, what I want you to do is... What's the damage of your longbow? So, the damage is 28 plus... Okay, so that's 11. What's the damage on your psychic die? What's your psychic die die? Is it a D8? I don't... Didn't you guys short rest? Did we short rest? Um, we short rested a while ago, but I believe he burned most of them out in didn't that fight. Re- didn't you short rest after the fucking I, Drake I, fight? No, no not no. after the Drake fight. I asked, and everybody you said, let's push on. Bags. Oh, man. That would have been an extra eight plus I, another eight. I do have the slasher beat. When you score a critical hit, it feels nice to be at home. <laughs> I um, really wanted you guys to take a fucking long rest. So, uh, as, no, no, no. As a bonus action, once per long, short rest, you can get one of those dice back. So as your bonus action, you get the yeah, dice back. That's totally then fine. you spend oh. it. Okay. So you got 11. Wait, no, you so got he's got 11. a 19 off the top. I'm tracking this. 19 off the top, plus another 5 is 26. Plus, plus 11. 11 is 37 points of hit. Fuck but yes, but Austin. now you're out of sight. Yes. And now and, I'm gonna and now I'm gonna move up here. Uh careful, I think you have you don't have that one. No, I move I move down one and then I move up five. But you okay. still have one use of telekinetic movement. Because that has a free use once per short rest. <laughs> so remember that Austin, but that's with objects not really moving. What did I say? Thirty seven? I heard 30. I think it's 37. In a row? 30. Uh, anyway. Nice hit, Austin. <laughs> Super great. First hit. <laughs> Fuck um, you, Adam. Fuck you. That's a good one. It's the dragon's turn. Um, fortunately, his breath weapon didn't recharge. Unfortunately, he's going to fucking land right in front of Boz's ass. Um, and he's going to wail. Uh, so, here we go. Um, let's do the bite. Uh, the bite hits. Uh, and you're going to take... Oh, what was the, what was the roll? Uh, it was 20 plus. Oh, okay. I rolled an 18 plus. Uh, these are die. That is <coughs> 13. 
13 points of bite damage. And uh, nat one on one of the claws. So give me a second. I'm going to do this. Okay, 62 for the table I developed on the, on the quick that one time is drop weapon. He doesn't have any weapons. So the second claw misses, and the, or the first claw misses, and the second claw is also a hit. Uh, it's also it's, it's even higher than the bite was. Um, so you take, oh, only eight points of damage, but uh, the dragon is actually going to take off. Let's see, he moved one, but two, three. That takes an AO of boss. Yep. One, two, three. We do this. He was here. And then he never really landed. Um here. Here. He's got that much. Oh yeah, <clears throat> he's gonna move over over there. Uh, Boz, if you would like to take a swing, absolutely. Yep. Let me know what your two hit is. Seventeen. Seventeen. Ooh. Seventeen AC. Okay, that hits. Yes. Nine damage. Nine damage. All right. Cool. Nothing like some free damage. Uh, okay. Braddock, it's your turn. Um, <clears throat> any step inside the blue is counts as two square. It counts as half. It's double double the cost. So one, two, three. Yeah. If you're going through there, you can. You get six squares. Right. If you think of them as squares, it's sometimes easier. You have six squares of movement. If you're going through it, each square counts as two squares. <clears throat> um, you can certainly try and skirt it. It's just going to take you the long way around. Well, it's, you can double move and get up to the dragon, but you won't be able to attack this one. Right. So you can get yeah, to there and then... Yeah, you could get to here if you want to double move. Unless I, unless when he moved to here, then I can do my. Oh, well, he's taking a javelin shot. Oh, oh okay. no! I pressed the wrong one. I was trying to get an arrow. Oh, could, that's fine. I could use you. I could move you. Move no, that's fine. Are you okay? Are you shooting your bow? Okay. Yeah. Well, neither of them. Have. Oh. Well. <laughs> um. So, all right, you. Okay, so you moved, and, and, I sh I and shot you shot. Down. I don't think you have any bonus actions. Um, Boz, I the don't know. I, like I said, you're doing great with your character. One thing me and John talked about, we weren't sure if you remembered or not. Don't forget about your Lay on Hands feature. And your yeah. uh, your Vow of Enmity would be great yes. this round. Yeah, I, I, but I'm just trying gonna to get to him. And when, that's, that's why. Yeah, that's why I said damn earlier because he moved. I was like, shit, I was gonna use that as a bonus action. Well, even when you have, bonus. all you, you have to do is see him, right? Do yeah, you can it do that now. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Uh, I I didn't know that. I'll look at it, but I believe him if he's reading it. Yeah. Yep. Enmity is ten feet. Yep. And the other one is enemy. Abjure enemy, which is not as good. Yeah. Not nearly as good as having advantage on all your attacks. Yeah, that's what I was about to do. That's what you want. Yeah. But it's sitting there. Um. Okay. So I think you're set, right? Okay. Cool. Um. Ace. Your place with the help of partner um, Yeah. Uh, sorry, I killed the dragon. Two. Is that like bad to 
straight or uh, yeah you're like off the edge sorry I should draw that okay let me let me just and I'll come down to here is that good yeah you're good I, it kind of looks like that, but... Can you see that now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't want to be that close to the edge. And I mean, um, it's not a super great with a large creature. Ace is going to be there. Okay. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> fuck you, you're doing a good job with this one. Uh, I'm trying. Because I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> In a good way. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, fire Wait, off a... You're gonna just shoot at him with Eldritch yeah. Blast, right? What the fuck are you so close to <laughs> Uh So I can get a clear shot. Huh? Well, I mean, you if you want to, you have a clear shot from, like, right here. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, I didn't know if you had some kind of weird plan to stab this thing. I don't know. I, wanted, like if he was I, feeling I don't know what I was thinking. After the I, last combat, because he was very successful with uh, the spear. I, w- I wasn't really thinking that. Um, so it's going to be a 21 Yeah. And, uh... Nine points of damage. Okay. Cool. Hell yes. Um, sorry. Not your damage. Fourth and one stop. Um, I know. Awesome. Mate. You guys... Come back for a second. I believe... You guys are uh, have this thing bloody. So good job. Um, it's Zua. You're up and you're visible with a very large dragon in your face. You can feel the cold, like in its breath. It's very chilly. Does, does he have any? Does did Zua have facial hair? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, you're getting some icicles on that on that beard or mustache, whatever you've got. Cool, cool. So I'm going to uh, take a big old swing with my sword. Okay. Is this a... Are you sword and shielding? Yeah. Or are you two-handed? Um... No, I... You do hit, regardless. No. But if you, if you one-hand... If you two-hand, you won't get your shield bonus. I probably would have my shield out. Yeah. I mean, you've been, you've been a shield level. boy. You've been a shield boy. Unless I knew I was going to like a nice Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That hits. Sure. Damn, damn. <clears throat> so, in roll 20, there's there's two attacks. I guess the that one is one-handed so, like, if you look at Boz's, because I haven't seen yours pop up yet, if you look at Boz's up a little bit, it says slashing one hand on the left, slashing two well, on the left. I've got, I have one that says 1d8 plus 7, and I have 1d10 plus 5. 1d10 plus 7 is your, uh, oh, you're talking about, yeah, you want to click the 1d8 because, because of, uh, yeah. And actually, with the fucking duel, you're better off never to handle it. I just yeah. realized that. Yeah. You should always have your shield out. So I'm going to hit him with 10 damage, and then I'm going to use... I got my second win, I'm hitting again. Action surge? Uh, uh, I have an action surge. Yeah. That's, that's to hit him again. Second win is healing. No, I, yeah, it is... Uh, It's already clicked off, brother. No. I don't remember him using it in the Drake fight. Um, he used all his stuff in the Drake fight, and it okay. didn't, didn't work. Okay. <laughs> well. Unless he did not short rest properly. No, I hit the short rest button. All right, so then. But I, I think I we did last time. I'm, I'm thinking sure about. Did. I'm thinking about moving, taking the uh, opportunity <laughs> attack. But if I'm right next to him, I could get. Three attacks if I stick right next to him. How are you getting three attacks? Well, oh, good. you mean on his turn? Yeah. Yes, correct. So I'm, I'm um, like you've seen this. I, I do want to tell you, you've seen this thing fly 80 feet. Yeah, it's going to go and attack roll once. Um, it does have to navigate the pillars, which I am I'm, I'm factoring in, but. Yeah, 
Yeah. But it does that easily. It's got lots of movement. I know. Yeah, it can basically cover the whole fucking room. So, if you're I'm, thinking, I'm, if you're I'm, thinking I'm, about I'm taking, take, I'm trying to take it. I'm trying to make it up here. Okay. That's the, that's my goal. Okay. Are you, so, do you want to move? Do you want to move two squares and not take an analog, or do you want to move thirty feet? I think I just want to try and book it to get back in the hallway, so they can't fly in. I mean, it might be able to get me in the hallway. These are 10 feet hallways. You, you would think it would, it would be able to go in them, but it would have to stay on its feet because the ceiling is too low. Well, then the guy's going to try to move back. Yes. And That's then, correct. If it's dumb enough to do that. Yep. You guys are in a, a, What's good is you guys are all spread out. In case it recharges its breath like You can do you you can do whatever you uh whatever you want to do. So. You guys have done really good damage considering the damage you've taken. Yeah. I know Boz, you've taken you've taken most of it. But you're so good at it. And also to consider we don't have much like spell spots or I don't know, we have probably even I took seventeen. Yeah, but he took two attacks yeah. after that. Oh, no, but he also but stayed. But he, yeah, he didn't take it. Uh, yeah, so what's the, what's the play here? Well, also? I mean, yeah, I'd like to move, but even where I move, it's going to get me. So, that's what I'm saying. You could, you were, one, you were here. You could move up to here for free, or you can move to here. And I'll tell you what, if this thing doesn't move, you would have... Like a plus two cover. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. In the in, in the moment of what's happening, I'm trying to yeah, turn on my Kindle and get behind and kind of put my back there. Okay. That's fair. Give it a smaller target. Uh, recharge rolls are at the end of the turn, correct, John? Uh, I don't yes. know. I just recharge at the end to see if you get your weapon back. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure recharge is coming at the end of the turn. Dragon, um, you're one thing I know. If much. I forget him at the end, I do him at the beginning of the well, next. Well, I already rolled you know. it. I already but, rolled yeah. it for the last, for its turns. It's two turns already. And I, mm-hmm. if I could re-roll it at the start and then maybe use it, I would do that. But I can't. So. Yeah, um, it's whatever you were doing before. Uh, I just, I stay consistent. Right, you just do whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, uh, this thing's going to stay put, and it's going to it's gonna go after you, Austin. Um, what I'll do is I'll just take two off my rolls to figure in your cover. So let me know if the number hits you. Uh, okay. Uh, eight? No, I'm sorry, 16. 16 is not. Good. Uh, another 16. Oh, and a 19. You waste, the, you waste the good rolls on me. I know. A 19 plus 7. Um, that is... 10 points of slashing damage. And... It's going to take off. Um, and it's going to... Fly up in the air. Do I get? Air? Yep, yep, right. you'll get one. It's gonna be about 20 feet in the air right here. Uh, but yes, take your AOL. Yeah. Twenty-five. Twenty feet off the ground? Yep. Fuck! Oh no, I did. I'm gonna put one dot for every ten feet it is it's off the ground. Okay. Yeah. That's, so I can remember too. Yeah. Did you take your ALO? Well, it, was it, not, was it okay. on the ground when it was next to Nitsua? It, yeah, it was It was low enough that it could melee him, so gotcha. the ALO has to apply. Uh, 13, good hit. You're doing some good damage, um, my guy. Okay, um, Braddock, you're up, buddy. 
if you move one square, your vow, I'll say your vow's good. Uh, I said he was talking. Yeah, it's good. You're very good. You don't have to do that. He can't do it from there, but if he moves one square closer, uh, I'll give it to him. Yeah. You could also stand underneath this thing. Yeah. Yeah, you can get up to it and not take AOLs because it's 20 feet off. Yep. The problem is. You get 30 feet of movement and an action. Yeah. I'll go right up. You an acting. That's a bonus action. Yeah. There you go. So, I mean, you got to move the last No. If your action's going to be an attack, you want to take the bow first so you have advantage on the attack. Sense. Yes, it does, but I was, I was, I wasn't debating that. I was debating it might be an action. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm just looking through my catalog, see what else I can look for. Okay. I'm gonna let you. I'm a, I want you to do sense. this, and if you want a suggestion when you're well, all done, I, was, I will. Uh, I have one. As a, as an action, I have the card shrub. I don't really don't know how long that's gonna be. It's a dragon. Uh, I have to, have to read that. Uh, Once yeah. for long rest, as an action. Transform, causing all within 10 feet to make a charisma saving throw of 12 for a decent call or be frightened until you end your next turn. This lasts for a minute and runs over to the So it's going to make him have to move away from him. No. At the, it makes me not get closer. Oh, yeah, that's right. So right, if his breath weapon recharges, he can light you up. But you might be fine because of your shield. Once on your turn, did you keep reading that? Once on your turn, you can have one attack or spell deal four points of extra necrotic damage to one target. So, like, every time, as long as this thing stays active, you get four extra points of damage on any hit. Okay. Oh, that's kind of like hits. Yeah. So. Okay, then as my action, I'll cast that. Is drop. that a, is that even an oh it is an action okay yeah. so DC twelve what save uh, charisma okay it's got great charisma I love dragon saving throws uh nope failed so it can't at, move at closer. that moment my eyes are starting to glow black and my angelic bone like wings sprout out of me without me knowing what the fuck is happening. Dragon brought the shit out of me. Are these like skeletal wings? Or do yes. they have like bat they have, wings? They, they're they skeletal wings, but they have a glow to them, like a, a black and white and ominous uh, uh, neon glow to them. Nice. Dude, like the, like the Dark Saber kind of <laughs> yes, coloring? Yes, Exactly like the dark table. Nice, nice. Are those so, are those making up like what would be the skin on a bat wing? Yes, they're they're basically bones, but with uh, bone. Nice. Eyes are going to say that. That's awesome. Uh, uh, yeah, they failed that, so um, he can't move closer to you, which is good because then he can't get in your kitchen. Cool. And then uh, right. to do three attacks at you. Okay. Fuck. I forgot my recharge roll and I failed it. That and stellar poker face. As my bonus action, I'll cast my uh, my divinity. Divinity. Yes. Cool. Yes. Good turn, man. So That's all attack. Fantastic attacks, turn. All attack roll twice. Take the better. Uh, all right. Uh, you can still move around a little bit. You only move ten feet. Okay, I think so. he wants to be under. That's fine. I just wanted him to know. Yeah. Uh, Unless you want to move further, Ross. I'm going to move further away just because uh, I did take some damage a lot of that first time around. Sure. Yeah. Get it. All right. Uh, Ace. 
You're up. Okay, this is not a clear shot currently, right? No. No. So, there we go. And more. That's where there I you go. go. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to come down here. Perfect. Jay, 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 did you see that shit? Did you see what just fucking popped out of Braddock? So the genie like pops out and he like, he like kind of like, he stays like attached to the lamp with like a smoke trail. Yeah, yeah. And he like kind of like peeks around that pillar uh, that's southwest of you and he's like, bro, like, fuck. This, that's uh, harshing my mellow big time. And then his face turns, he turns his head, sees the dragon. He's like, see ya! And he fucking just looks <laughs> back in the lamp. I thought you wanted adventure. And he fires an elder blast. <laughs> Away. Uh, 17. Yep. For eight points of damage. Yep. Still fucking kicking. It's still got hit points, but you guys have done some work on it. I, I'm confident we're gonna finish this, but I'm still, still bummed by one spell. I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, hey, you took a, you took a shot. It's big, yeah. dude, you would've... You would have been fucking bummed either way. You would have been bummed if you didn't try. You're right. I'd have been pitching tomorrow. Right. Oh, I won't be there. But yeah. You could have bitched to Scotty. Um. <laughs> um. Uh, Nitsua. Uh, Ace, you ain't moving anymore, are you? Yeah, no, I'm good. Scotty, you Um, uh, Nitsua, you're up, buddy. You know what I knew when I will say this, I knew when I built this that these fucking columns were gonna save you more than they hurt you. Because like oh, for sure. Like this thing can't like even if I had breath weapon, it couldn't shoot two of you with it. Yeah. So that's big. We've been able to stay spaced out. Yeah, that's how it's what do you got, buddy? If I come here, will I have a clear shot of it? Uh, or I can come... It's gonna, get, it's gonna get a bit of cover. I can come here. That's better. I like that better. I'll give you free there. Okay. Never mind. Take a shot. I'm very flexible with my covers, too. In the book, it's plus two or plus five. Sometimes it's just a plus one. That'll hit. God damn. I'll send four rocks on the attacks. Hell yes. Yeah. Nice. After last week, they better be. Okay. <laughs> it was Boz that was getting the the, the, the shit out of I want to pop. Yeah, but Ace was putting it all on your Majesty. So I want to pop back behind you. Yeah. Okay. Jumping. Get a clear shot. Get a clear shot. Good idea. Um. Uh, okay. So it can't move closer to Boz, which is really good for me. Because, in my opinion, if he moves directly right, even he's though got it. Yeah. mechanically it's not closer, it's closer. Yeah. Um, I appreciate that rule. I like that rule. Yeah. I don't think it's going to matter much if I did choose to pitch. Yeah, I would. So, tell you what. I'm going to roll... On who I'm going to attack. Uh, Ace, you're going to be odds. Nitsu, you're going to be evens. 17. It's coming for you, Austin. Um, it does have to stay low because it doesn't have a breath weapon. But it's going to attack you three times. Um, okay, here comes the bite. Uh, 19? Yeah, that did. Okay. damage on that one. Uh, ten more points of damage. Yeah, no problem. Yep. Yeah. Where you sitting at, buddy? Five. Oh, shit. 
awesome. Hey, you got the second one in your back pocket. You're good. I know. You. That's why I'm does not he? Here. You've been, he's been. Oh, I don't know if he does. Does he? Okay. I, I trust you. I've been, I've been sitting on it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I trust you. Um. Okay. Uh. It is Radix's turn. At this point, you can move closer to this thing. It can't move closer to you. It's a weird fucking flip flop. Okay, and uh, you don't have a clear shot from where you stand. Yeah, I kind of see up here. How long would it take you to get up there? So you could get there. You could get to right here, right? Yeah, but I can't get off. Now. You could get to Austin in a double move, but that'd be you, all you your to, turns unless you have a bonus action. If you're trying to heal him, like, yeah. you, you could double move in bonus action. He has to touch him for lay on hands, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I also have a potion. That's true, but administering one is a... Oh, wait, we said bonus action, you roll. Right, yes. John? Yes. Come on, if you want to get to him and give him a potion that you have to roll the hit points for... You can. That's, that's fine. But I would like Austin to do me uh, do a favor as a Sua, call out the Braddock. For what? Help me. Yeah, just call me by my name. <laughs> he wants you to be. He wants you. No. He's going to humble you, John. I've you, Braddock, every time since the heartbeat. Adam, I, I've talked to you about this uh, possible storyline, so Austin, go ahead. You're going you're gonna to have to remind me. Because my brain's not focused on past stuff at the moment. But it's yeah, okay. Austin, it, was, did, it was a while ago. Austin, Austin, do you call for help? I don't think he would call for help. At this point. Okay. Okay, he or Ace, else. can you tell me to go help him out? Ace, a little. <laughs> you got me all jumbled. Ace wants to tell Braddock to go help Miss Sula. Ace thinks Braddock should help Your Majesty. He could use some healing. You are a healer. I Get in there, him. big boy! I look at him say, Who's Braddock? And I take off all the way to the, to the double move. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, There's yeah. a reason why I was asking for this. Yeah. I like it. No, 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 I like yeah. it. Genie, I think he's possessed by a demon. Dude, that whole dude's whole steez, I don't even know. Okay, I I'll thought go. he was cool. What happened? Yeah. What do I have to what do I have to roll? Uh what potion are you using? The big dog or the little he dog? He just has a greater left, I think. No, right? I actually I have both. I haven't used any of my spa my healing potions. So uh, if you want to use the big one, it's four D four plus four. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, yep. So roll four D four and we can just add four to it or however you fucking want to do it. Okay, so ooh, no, twelve. I know. Not not great, but better than nothing. So Austin, you get twelve points of healing. Could be the difference. Thank you, Braddock. I needed that more than I thought I did. There's no Braddock here. <laughs> yeah, when you get a chance, uh, shoot me a quick uh, blurb reminder, and I'll go check my phone. Okay, uh, Ace, you're up, dude. I mean, this thing's this thing's beat up. You can tell yeah. it's it's. it's uh, Ace is gonna move up here and try to put this thing down. Okay. <laughs> See if we can get a crit. No, seventeen though. Eight. How many seventeen did you roll? That's only yeah, my that's... second one. Boss had one earlier. Yeah, I know. Austin had one. Oh, okay. Yeah, and Boz awesome. Big one. Yeah, that's four. Okay. 13. <laughs> 13 points of damage. Okay. One below max. Okay. Yeah. Did it. Uh, damn. Yeah, this thing, it's, uh, it's, it's beaten up. Uh, you everyone, should have left, Beast. You should have left. Everyone make a, a perception check. Perception. Uh, that's a two. <laughs> okay, well, Ace, you're real close. So, I'm going to say, you notice the wall of force is no longer there. With the two? Okay. You're, 
you all rolled dog shit. I want you to yes. have this information. I probably shouldn't have yes. you guys roll it. No, you're uh, cool. So, yeah. You notice the wall of force is gone. Everybody that's in, that was inside of it hasn't moved because they're fucking cold and scared. Uh, and they see you guys fighting it and doing a good job of fighting it. Uh, Stay so, put. I'll save you. Uh, Don't worry. Ace is going to save Ace, you. while you're there, also... Uh, killer. <laughs> While you're there, now that the whole wall's gone, do you want to roll a check on the board thing? Uh, if you are letting me, that's a 19. So, uh, I'm assuming you rolled Arcana. Yeah, Arcana or History yeah. is a 19. Okay, okay I'm just sent you a message. Okay, uh, yeah, I see it. Um, I, uh, yeah, so you know you know that this is a, a orb of dragon kind. It's controlling this thing. Uh, you know what they do. Um, you know that this thing's under... It's under the power of someone. I think we need to destroy this orb. The wall is down. We gotta try to break it. Well, you're closer than us. I can't do it again till my ne- next turn. Why <laughs> <laughs> um, are you talking? Because I can do that as much as I want. <laughs> I feel like Braddock is like, yeah, I know. Um, oh, this would make a great comment. Who just went? <laughs> just the same. Wasn't it the uh, case? Was your turn the last turn or was yeah, it Boz? I just went. I shot. Okay. Um, so it's yeah, Matsua. It's Matsua's turn. She's going to kill this thing. Matsua is not a girl. I always think she is. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's that fucking it's the A. It's the A. A. Awesome. Sorry, what's your sorry, Fiedler, we're not that wow. into well, Asian culture there. So no, not me. That's not going to get it. I'm not doing this. I'm doing this. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I'm pretty damn. Even with that fan. Get your ass behind me. He names his characters like that. I know you're a kid. He like rolls like Adam. What the fuck is that? Um. Yeah, so that's it. I win. Okay. Cool. Um, so, you, you're you staying put, I'm assuming? Um, yeah, and I'm just going to hold my, uh, my shield out in front of me. Cool. Um, so, the dragon flies up. Um, you and Boz will get attacks of opportunity. Um, but it's going to it's gonna kind of hover backwards. You guys want to take your swings? Yeah. Uh, it's a D20 to make your attack roll. With your sword or whatever the fuck you got. No. 15. Five's not going to get it. Um, 15, you also don't hit Boston. Um, but the breath weapon did recharge. So I need both of you to make constitution saving throws. Which is good for you guys. Or your boat for food. No boss. What do you want? Seven. Oh, shit. Uh, that sucks for Boz. Austin, you pass, so you're going to take half damage. Uh, this could get real fucking bad real quick. Um, okay. Here we go. Um, okay. So... Give it to us, Rod, dude. Austin, Austin, you're, you're <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I'm trying to count. Um, you take 25 points of damage. So that means I take 50. No, 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 no. I did that wrong. I'm already, sorry. I'm already on death save. No, no, no. You're not. You're not. Boz takes 25 points of damage. You take 12. Uh, I am almost there. I'm well aware. Um, yeah. How many points did I take? Did you take? Yeah, how many hit points did I take? You took 12. Yeah, okay. Yep. Okay. Um, and this dragon, he, he just kind of, he, he just hovers back up. He's going, he's going, he's going to go 40 feet in the air. He's almost at the ceiling. Um, it is Braddock's turn. So, um, 
Braddock is going to, uh, I have a, a small approach. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you using your action to take max or are you using a bonus action to roll? I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, max. Okay. So that's your action. Yeah. Okay. So, how much is that? The whole thing. So, 20. Okay. Um, are you moving at all? Or... You have 30 feet. Ace, you're up. Ace is right here. Mm-hmm. He's going to say to the people, whoever can, grab this spear and uh, start throwing it at the orb. And he's going to fire an Eldritch Blast at him. Interesting move. Yep. Yeah. And if you want a persuasion check, I can make that as well. No, no, no. The, uh, the, uh, the guy I said who's kind of by himself, he takes the spear from me. He looks the most able-bodied. And that's a 25 to hit. On Eldritch Blast at the orb? Yeah. Yep. That's a good gun. And that's uh, 10 points of damage. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you see, you hit the orb, right? Yeah. And you you see it start to crack. Um, like, uh, like, like when a windshield spider webs in the yeah. cold. And you, like, you can hear the noises. But when it cracks, you hear the dragon... And you can probably see bits and pieces of it if you, like, turned your head. And you see the dragon kind of like, it's like, uh, think like uh, when Reagan from The Exorcist is trying to fight off the devil. And, like, yeah. she's doing the, like, head shit. Like, it's doing that, but the orb is still there. And then the dragon's, like, moving its head back and forth. And it refocuses on, like, it's like, and it refocuses right itself on its sword. Okay. Yeah, you got a good move. Uh, while we're here, I'm going to roll for your uh, peasant guy. To see if he okay. can finish the job. Goddamn die. That's not going to Yeah. Nope. Uh, this thing doesn't have a great AC because it's fucking stationary Dude, or... You knew it was going to be a shit roll because I had a decent idea. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's I'm, starting to become a fucking thing. If I had, I'll tell you what. If this goes, if you get another turn, if like if we, if this keeps going, Tony, you get another turn, I'll let you roll. Uh, no, no, no. You roll it. I, I like. I'm fine with it. It don't well, matter. I mean, I'll give you the choice. I just think it's funny. Even when I roll it, I fail. Yeah. Like, it doesn't really matter. Funny? It's like, uh, uh, so. Is it concrete? My what? peasant, my peasant the missed on yeah. his first spirit and attack. Dra- you heard all the stuff about the dragon trying to shake the shit off, and it refocuses back on you. Okay. You're up. Okay. God damn, dude. Yes. Fuck. Love this shit.
no. the same? Trust me, we're this okay. exact. I, I, yeah, I, I shouldn't have done it in public, but yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, like I said, I've adjusted this, uh, this dragon's breath weapon. Oh it's, yeah, it's nasty, but I've toned it down, and that is half. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're, 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 Wait, you're, you're only rolling half. I just rolled half instead of I missed. I fucked up. I was gonna roll eight d eight on him. So I just rolled 4d8. You make me follow. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Hey, I mean, I can re-roll. No, no, no. You're, yeah, however you want to do it, I just... No, I know. That, I know that's not saying. how I would ever... I know. It, and usually I don't. I yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Usually I like, I like... You accidentally hit the roll. Yeah. yeah. All so, right, okay. who turns it down? It is the Braddock turn. Oh, I'm doing a job of it right away. Yeah, are you... Okay, so here's I, I do want to throw this at you. Uh, your character would have seen this board pretty fucked up. Do you want to shoot the dragon, or do you want to try and take a shot at the board? I mean, I think I should take a because I have advantage and the necrotic shroud are still oh, that can four, the four damage. Totally fair point. And Ace, yeah, Ace is still on the on the bad instead of uh, that orb. Yeah, no, I, that's totally cool. I like it. 15? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna... Roll again. again. Yeah, roll again. That's right. 16. 16's still good. No. Oh, that's right. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why I've been pissed miss. about all the 17s. Yeah. <laughs> Not this, but yeah. just uh, docked. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, Brad, do you want to move? Yeah. God, I wanted that to hit. I wanted it to hit so bad. We got 30 feet of movement. Uh, not that way, though. Yeah, yeah that's perfectly good. Yeah, that okay. I think you can go one square down if you want. It says down. Do it is on death save, yeah. Okay. Bye. John, you know how like swarms work, right? Like where yeah. like things happen after you're at like a certain percentage. Like yeah. I would say if you looked at this orb, you think it's probably got about twenty percent left. No, no, so, I'm, I'm confident. I don't know what your down this round. I don't know what your plan was, but. No, I don't have any extra plans. I was just... It's my, is it my turn? Uh-huh. Okay, then I'm yeah. going to attack I the orb. You, I just wanted to tell you in um, case you had any yeah. no. wild hair dragon. No. Uh, that's a 22 to hit the orb. And uh, only six points of damage. So you fire off this blast. What do you think Eldritch Blast look like? We've had this um, discussion. His look kind of like... Which, Genie shoots the spark out of his finger gun in the black. Mm, okay. Like okay. just a, a white flash of spark and a little lightning and an okay. impact with I, force. I keep, I keep picturing uh, the uh, repulsive blast. Repulsive <laughs> uh, from Iron Man out of the hands. That's what. What color is it? Uh, this is definitely like white. Like okay. White. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool. So not too far off from us. But I think of it as like a, a ball that fires off. Of it. Right. Uh, like a yeah. like a like a caravan. Yeah. 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 No, like like uh like Shang Tsung's projectile. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But white instead of green. Uh, so right. you fire off this white bolt, and it it looks like it doesn't. Hit. And it gets sucked into the middle of one of the cracks. And then all of a sudden, like you, you're saying this, your attention's on the board. And then, as the bolt gets sucked in, you hear the dragon just go, oh, no. The fucking, the wow. out of the cracks, all this white starts, starts, uh, starts emanating. The orb explodes. I want you to make me Okay. 
That's a 14. Yeah, nothing happens to you. You, you, basically, you, uh, you like flip over, flip over, you, you guard your face, and, and none of this shards from this thing um, hits you. I, I think, honestly, what he would do, and this is not what he would have done before any of this shit started, mm-hmm. but he's going to pull in anyone near him. So, like, and, the, and the mom and the kid over. are right by him. Yeah, like he's going to, like, he's going to, like, stand over them. Get down! Cool. Yeah. So you do that, and, and you're fine. All like, well, this shit kind of bounces off your back. Um, and after this thing explodes, and you hear all the, like, the, the tinkling of the shards, like, hit the ground, and they're all done. You hear it. The dragon flies over. Ace is now looking towards the sword. Yeah. Because he knew she was down. Don't play it, don't kill it. He. Um, he. Damn uh, it. <laughs> yeah, you guys are effectively out of combat. Uh, okay. Yeah, he knows he's down, so he's. Also, at this point, the, 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 the wings retract back in and the eyes retract in normal. And I actually, and the Braddock says, what the hell happened? Can you save him? The two is hurt. Sure. Your Majesty. You're probably help. surprised that he's on the ground. Yeah, I am. I'm sure everything. Where the hell did Drag go? You grew some black demon wings and I destroyed the orb and the dragon was left. I'll explain it all. Save the two is life, please! Right, actually, Austin, roll me one death. It's not gonna matter. Out of everything that happened, the most surprising thing that Brad has done is <laughs> um, I'll fast. Uh, it's not the only death save. No, I just want to see. Uh, yeah, you can play it out if you want. Um, what do you guys want to do for this uh, dying young man? I'm going to grab another drink real quick. I was done. This time. Okay. So, what do you do? I, uh, I stepped nope. off my head. Ace is pleading with Braddock to save him because he doesn't what? know what to do. Okay, then what do I have to you, do? You have lay on hands. If you so. heal him, he stops making it. Yeah. Okay. Or you can also roll a medicine check to stabilize it. You can always also, do that. Boz, I don't know if you saw this because when, when we were talking about all your cool fucking shit you get, I was looking through your things. You also have... I guess it's an Asimar feat. For an action, you can restore what appears to be your level in hit points. So, like, four free hit points. Yeah, no, I have... For a long rest. I have healing hand right now. I was just about to say that I have four hit points. But you have lay on hand as well, which is yes. five times your level. Okay. But honestly, he just needs to be to one, and then one hit rest. Right, you can, you can put him at one if you want. He'll wake back up. Okay. So you guys heal him up. It doesn't matter. Uh, he he wakes up. Yeah, I like the idea. He wakes up coughing, and like, but like he, he seems phased, but not by that. When Braddock sees that, uh, or when Ace sees that Braddock has a handle on it, he's gonna go corral the people. Uh, you're bringing them to where? Where you, where you guys are all standing? Yeah. Okay. Um, so... And if we got ten minutes, he's going to start conjuring Milo. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you can have Milo back. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, so the mother and the and the kid are just expressing a, tons of, a ton of gratitude. And uh, the man, he's like... He's like walking up to you. He's a little beat up. He's kind of using your spear as like a like a walking stick, and he kind of he brings it and he kind of just kneels at you and like holds it up with his head down, offering keep, it back to you. Keep that. You might need it on our travels. It could be a long trip home. Yeah. 
he uses it, he puts it down like a like a walking stick, brings himself back to his feet, and his he's still got his eyes cast down on the floor. Um, the Not foppish man fired yet, but we have to see what your majesty wants to do. The uh, the the foppish man, the mayor of Whoville looking guy, he uh he uh he comes up to you and he's like Thank God, you finally come. We, we've got to get the hell out of here. Who are you? We've got to go. Who am I? Um, yes. I, obviously, am Ace Burbank, master of the arcane, your savior. Who are you? The, the name's Langley. And there's like there's like an undeserved uh, air of confidence <laughs> about this dude. Um, and even I, though I, you just saved said, his fucking life. You who did really save the day? What, what'd you say? And Braddock says, he really saved the day? Braddock, I kind of did. You were running away with demon wings strapped to your back. Mitsuo fell in, in brave combat against the evil dragon, and I destroyed the orb that was controlling its mind, and it flew off. So I guess you'd say, I saved the day. And you brought Mitsuo back to life. So you did a good job. The, uh, <laughs> the foppish, the, <laughs> the langley. <laughs> He's so disappointed that he had to thank Ace. Thanks. I love it. I guess. Fuck. <laughs> Langley is like, he's like, I don't think you know who I am, but you need to get me out of here back to sea. Get me back to the coast. We need to get back to Shudo Coast. On the double. And he like, kind of like, uh, claps like, chop, chop. I don't believe thing. you understand who I have with me. I have the tent seat of the throne your majesty and ruler of Shubil Coast, Mitsua, and then Surname. Uh, surname, surname, surname. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with a big verbose ver- uh, performance check okay. of a 18 on performance check to introduce Mitsua to this pompous little man. You, uh, you a little bottom of the bag. Yeah. While uh, Walnut 2 is actually over there, he's coming in with a small pool of his own blood. Yes. Talking with blood. Pissing shit. It looked like he just fought and, like, almost died. Like, <laughs> dragon. And, like, melee, like... Me- Come on, you died to a, a breath weapon, so you're, like, frozen over. And you're just starting to thaw you're, out. You look a lot like <laughs> Luke in the Wampa cave. Yeah! Yeah, that's cool. So, yeah. Uh, the, so you introduce him, and um, the foppish man is like, um, I don't care, first of all, because, uh, A, yes, I recognize the name. I know, I know well who he is. He certainly is not the ruler of Shooter Ghost. That belongs to my uh, boss and best friend. Forever, we have BFF. This is the one half of my BFF heart necklace that I have that he has yet to wear, but that's another story. Mr. Alton Scrimshaw, he is the boss, and you need to get me back to him now. Where is he? We were looking for him and the rest of the inhabitants of Shubo Coast. They've all disappeared. Uh, when you say that, he's kind of he's kind of taken aback. Um, uh, at, so at this point, the two is just like it could be like it's up and it seems we all have the picture up to I do believe you are right there. We should be getting back soon. However, as you just heard, the inhabitants of the colony is what you are Seven. Five? Okay. Great. Thank you. 
Bob, there we go. you remember that you guys had this guy's book, right? This is a guy. I figured that too. That guy was slow. Yeah. Um, his journal. Yeah. Uh, Majesty, it's the one who's a million journal. Cappy from the consulate, right? <laughs> uh, he says, uh, so, yeah, you say all that, we need to hear your story, all that stuff. He's like, he's like all I know is that I was in the road, and I had my book, and I was writing in my journal, and then, and then, it, 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 got, it, it was like my eyes were closed. Um, it was like they were closing, and, and, and but, but I, I know I had the, I had the book in eyes were open, I know how to work with my eyes, okay? And then, and then it went black, and I'm here. And I'm freezing my fucking balls off. I'm not even sure they're still attached. I, I know, I know exactly how you feel. Believe me, I, I want to hear more of your story. It sounds like, uh, probably trying to get you back will, will probably be the best uh, case of action. Could you please go back to the other um, builders over. I assume that there are some that are over here. They're, they're all right by you. No, Everybody brought right them by all you. over here. Yeah, yeah. All I right. brought them all to you. All right. So maybe we can get out of. Because I assume it's cold here, and it'll be less cold. Like so you can just over here, where we're not in, like the direct shit, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So I'm. I just want to get so out. You guys all. We don't have to. We don't have to listen to the We just. Say, you just turn the corner. I want to try and get people out of like the direct stuff, and then I want to uh, have a quick word with my patrons. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, they they you guys just go basically directly to the left, and they go like a little further down the hallway because it's warmer. Yeah. All right, guys. So we found some. What I don't want to do is take these guys back and then have to come right back here and then go through the next something else. Uh, Ace, can you possibly talk to your dean about? I'm sure he brought us. I, he brought us here. Is there any other? He other? didn't. He didn't bring us here. He definitely did not do that. He pops out. Oh, he's like, bro, I was bait. You should see my place. It is still a mess. Totally in made here. that up. We were totally walked right into a trap. I was trying to cover my ass, Your Majesty. Because from here, we don't have any more breadcrumbs. This is where the X was. So unless there's more here for us to try you for. Uh, there's someone else out there, obviously. I, did you guys hear voices in your head? Because I heard a really pompous I, bitch in mine. I and think, I oh, yeah. don't think it was the you dragon. Hear, hey, that's not very I, nice. I don't no, know for yeah. sure. No, I, I did as well. Sure. And now I'm put like what else? They, yeah, but that they, they were talking to me in my head. They might not have even been here. They might have been talking to us through the orb. The same way they, calling they were me. calling me by weird names, trying to say I was something I'm not. Well, I always get accusations talk? like that. You guys all, you I want to make it very clear. You guys all heard the exact same thing. We all heard each other's stuff. You guys, you, no, no, no. You all had the voice in your head, and you all heard the same thing. It may as well have been one. Yeah. I was just doing that for, for fun flavor, but yes, it was in your head, you so, all heard the same thing. When we responded, they heard her response. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yes, whenever whenever you know. heard me say at her, we all, you all heard me. I, I feel certain that if you if confusing you with somebody else, it would be like confusing the time or the time. Not that Exactly. The Jackson mystery of the case murder. Absolutely. But for now, what's our... What's I have paperwork and proof. What's our next move, guys? So and these guys don't really seem to know too much about right now. And, and that, that moment, moment, they might know They might know about too much. No, I was just going to say, Braddock, at that moment, you feel like a tug on, like, like right behind your knee on your knee. Oh, fuck. You turn around? Yeah. You see it's the little kid. He's probably, like, six. And he's like, um, hey, that that was that was pretty cool. Um, all that stuff, the wings. I don't know. Can, yeah, it's called the dragon. You, no, 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 no. You, 
your wings. I don't know. They came out of your, your back? I don't have them. Don't, don't listen to him, my friend said. He likes to talk a lot. No, 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 no. He, he wasn't. He was, he was being, we saw it. It happened. It was cool. Saw it. Yeah, I saw, I saw it. Thanks, kid. Wait, um, hey, um, over, like, over, like, uh, we were over there, where we were, over there, I saw, I saw something on the, on the wall. Yeah, can you uh, show me? Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, and, like, he, I, I, I said he was six, I'm gonna say he was, like, he's, like, four, and he kind of, like, gives you, like, the, the arms up in the air, like, I want to go puppy kind of thing at you. I'll you're put him on my huge. shoulder. Nice. And uh, he's like, and he's like, he gives you like a big triumphant like pulling on like cowboy. <laughs> yeah. So basically, where he leads you is uh, is to uh, to like right here, most of your not falling. Um, and it's this, one. it's right here. Um, and you guys see like a like a little crack in the wall. And you see like um, you see like a let's say like a greenish glow. Uh, I was about to say I pull it apart over here. Yeah, uh, it's uh, sword's not gonna do it. Uh, whoever wants to can give me a strength check. I got you. Okay, you're pretty strong. Fuck oh. yes, dude. <laughs> Um, do you kick this, or is this a, is this a manual? Thing? No, I used the, I, I, I hit it, but I used Oh, well, I was also crit, okay. So, uh, what do you guys, at the I, same. I, I like this. I like kick it, and you punch it at the same time. Well, I, I punch it, but I'm using the force. Right? That's, that's oh, okay, force. yeah, that's, that's cool. Like a I, okay, so, Mitsuha pulls it out, and Braddock kicks it against the wall, and it pops right over there. Yeah, there you go. Whatever you think is cool in your head that happens to this chunk of wall, it happens exactly as you think it did, and it's awesome. <laughs> so, you guys break open this wall, um, and inside, you see all of Yon. Um, you see a fuck ton of gold. Damn! Drag oh. this horde, baby! I see a sword over there, too. Uh, ignore the sword. Damn it. You see a chest, and you see a bunch of gold. Uh, I'm done. I checked the chest. I go for the chest. Damn it. Ace okay. is gonna start piling gold into his pockets. Just, like, open the genie's, like, thing and just start, like, pouring gold. That's not, not hey, a genie, bad come, idea. Genie, come get this gold. He's like, okay, what, what do you want me to do with it? Shave like, those vacuum. We're just gonna <laughs> keep it in the lamp. Put it in your lamp. We want you to hang out in it, kind of we'll like Scrooge McDuck. You ever we'll seen buy that story? We'll buy him some upgrades. You know. <laughs> Just tell him you'll buy him some upgrades. Yeah, we'll <laughs> yeah, get you some nice new turquoise pillows. Awesome. I'm trying yeah. to build you a gold swimming pool <laughs> that we can use for funds. Okay, so what's in the box? Okay, first of all, I'm going to tell you I'm just going to give you the coinage. So, somebody write this down. Yep. Um, you find 1,400 gold pieces, 6,000 silver pieces, and 300 copper pieces. Only 300 copper? Okay. Okay. Um, you find three more potions of greater healing. You find four of the common oceans, and you find a couple of monk scrolls. Scroll spells. What scroll spells? Scroll. You find a spell scroll that has some stuff that I want to think about. I that completely I will. forgot about those spells. Yeah, you those did. scrolls during that whole Here's battle. the good news, I John. Cone of Cold wouldn't have helped. Yeah. No, you wouldn't have done a goddamn magic. thing. I did. Um, but, which is okay. You did good damage anyway. Yeah. So you said uh, gold. You said greater healing. And you said uh, potion of healing. I, I wrote everything three, down. Three of the one, three of the, three um, of the 44 plus fours. And, yeah. 
and four of the other ones. And how many Two scrolls two. total? Uh, so John has a memory like Kevin from The Office. If it's I'm in actually pies, writing this down. If it's in pies, Kevin can do the math. Right. Right. John will remember. It. And, and then, then and then he goes da 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 da. It, it works. If it's D and D related, I will remember. Eleven. <laughs> What's the fucking number he made up? Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> um, you also find you find a you find a um, you find a regular great axe, and you find uh, a couple of long swords. You find a you find a couple of. Uh, I'll tell you what. Throw throw an extra. They're an extra 200 gold on there, uh, just for all like the gems and, and other finery you find. And John, I will get you what's on those scrolls probably tomorrow. Yeah, no big deal. Uh, yeah, um, but probably more importantly, uh, well, not necessarily more importantly, uh, the green glow, um, the fucking portal, and through it you see the sunny beaches. Alright, let's go. We'll get the we'll get everyone. Uh, uh, yeah, they, they uh, 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 the kid bolts. No, the kid doesn't bolt. Cause so, uh, I throw the, him the three adults were in the, were in the kid's room. <laughs> I, yeah, here. We, she's like, my mom! Oh shit! Ah! And he's through. Um, uh, so all the adults are back there and you get them and bring them here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we take and uh, and so uh, Tips and Langley sees familiar landmarks of Shoeville Coast. It's, like, it's about damn time, and he sprints through. But it's like slow, and it's like his elbows are way up in the air, and he does like that fat boy run. And it's more of a speedy walk. All that. And he like he he so goes, he, he looks like the wacky no, 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 beast. He he goes to he, he elbows past you, Ace. Um, he sidesteps Natsua and uh, Braddock, he like kind of gives you a why like, cause he saw all the shit you're doing Ace, Ace is gonna cast press and invitation on him and make him stink really fucking bad uh-huh. okay, okay, so and while, while he's just giving them shade, I just roll the seven I'm gonna scare this, do this. I'm gonna scare this. One big step at him, and he stumbles into the portal. He, no, he he first of no, he actually what he does is he goes away from the portal, and he goes like into the corner, like where Milo's icon is. He's like, oh God, don't, don't hurt me! I just, I just want to go home. and he's like weeping. So I go. Creature zero to respect. I'm gonna go back. Yeah, to you the dirty little fat man. Just I'm gonna go over smile. to this guy and offer him, offer him a hand. We can bring you back. Your home might not be yours anymore. Things that have happened have been gone. That's changed what's, like, what's going on in the colony. We can use your help, but you are not going to come back and see you. You, will you. Will you come back on those terms? He's like wiping away tears, and then like he like. He like takes a big sniff to like suck some snot back, and when he does, he gets a whiff or whatever he's put on him, and he goes, Whoa! and uh, he doesn't harm, but he's like, he's like, he like whisper, he like leans into you, he's like, just, just whatever you can do to keep, keep that thing, guy, person. I'll tell you that that thing, guy. That would be erotic. Is 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 the least of your concern. You can call it um, Braddock. No, so don't worry about me too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like it's like, it's, like, it's I, fine. I, that's that's fine. Um, so I start beckoning everyone to go through the portal while Yeah. The uh, the 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 mom and that other guy. They like they they just like they move as fast as they can, but they're pretty tired. Um, it's like a it's like a light uh, exhausted jog. Um, and yeah, they go through. Yeah, we help everyone. Yeah, uh, the 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 the, um, the uh, Tipton Langley. He's like uh, he like slowly walks up to Braddock and he like kind of gives you like an after you gesture and he's like curtsy almost. 
Do you tell him to go, Braddock? Yes, I got him. He's on my back there. He, uh, he, he kind of does the same thing, and, like, he's just, like, keeping eyes on you, and he, like, uh, he kind of curtsies again and then backs in. Okay. <laughs> and then when you see him through, he takes off. Milo's going to follow him and keep an eye check. He does, he curtsies again, I think. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh, 22? Yeah, so he, like, uh, he, like, lands on his ass through the portal and, like, does, like, two backwards. And he, like, he, like, picks himself up and, like, kind of, like, strings his pants out and then, like, he, he's running away, but, like, he's looking at you over his shoulder the whole time. Next uh, time I tell you to move, you move. You got it! And he, like, he, like, he, like goes to tip his cap and he's just, he's just, he's booking it as fast as he could, which isn't fast. Ace is gonna send Milo to keep tabs on it. And because the pseudo dragon can send telepathic images to anybody, yeah, he's got specific instructions. If he's fucking around, pissing anybody off, or yelling at you, you send him an image of Braddock's face. Okay. It'll make it scary right as he was yelling at him. Do you say Just this? A, so, like, uh, are you doing this verbally all or telepath? telepath? Okay. Oh, well, I say everything I say telepathically to him, I say out loud. Oh, okay. You send so, him the, the scariest image you can think of so like, his face. So, like, I kind of have this, like, image in my head of Milo being cuter than, like, an actual image of a pseudo-dragon. So I'm getting kind of like a, if you mix Toothless with a pseudo-dragon. Yeah. Like somewhere splitting the difference. It's, it's like the My Little Pony of pseudo-dragons. Yes, very, yeah. very good. I, yeah, that's, yes. That's very good. So he, like, <laughs> he, like, stands up on his back legs. He has wings. And he, like, yeah. he, like, takes this, like, hand wing thing. And he's, like, he, like, stands up at attention. And he, like, salutes. And he's, like, and he, he takes off through the portal. Good soldier. And he's like, you see him, you see him catch up to this guy. This guy's moving slow as shit. And he like, he kind of like just starts like circling him, like only like <laughs> yes. two feet over the ground. And he's just, he's not harassing him. He's giving him like a couple feet of, a couple feet of birth. But like, he's like, uh, and then you see him take like two of the like claws from like yeah. where his hand would be. Yeah. And he's like, does like the Robert De Niro meet the parents? I'm watching you thing at this right. guy. And, uh, and then you, you see him. Little just more eat. space, Milo. Little more and space. He, uh, <laughs> you you see him like wave. He doesn't look back at you, but he's like a wave of acknowledgement. And he uh, he gives him a wider berth, but he's still he's just doing this the whole time. Like you're just circling this guy. I like uh, it. Did the whole town see Milo? Remind me. Yes, he, he was did. out before. Right, he was he out of the bar. Yeah, we just didn't acknowledge right, we didn't, it. Yeah, we, we forgot. Yeah. So no um, big deal. Yeah, so everybody's through the portal. Uh, oh, wait, before, uh, I don't have to last one late, but I guess if the three of us were there, I would turn around and be like, I don't know if you could hear us, bitch, but fuck you. And then I would walk through the portal. You? Hey, uh, actually, right then, like, the fucking wind, like, it gets bad. Like, you think that if you were still in that, like, chamber where we had the battle, that it would blast you up against the south wall. Like, that's how strong it is. Yeah, blow me, bitch. And then I go to the portal. <laughs> awesome. Uh, cool. The, you, the other two of you also go through the portal? Yeah, I go, I go the way Star-Lord does it on uh, Dirty War. turns around and goes... And then he flicks him off and, and falls backwards. <laughs> nice. Um, cool. John, did you do anything cool, or do you just walk um, Yeah, <laughs> Ace uh, just walks through, and, and he's, I don't know exactly where we're coming out from the Shubo Coast, but he's just hands in the air. Uh, yes, people, we've done it. We've you're saved a, them. You're actually, uh, we are you're heroes. On, you're, on the, you're on the dock, you're at the like nobody's there. Yeah, and he's hollering it as loud as he can. People, uh, your heroes yeah. are back. Yeah. As he's walking towards town. Um, so... At this point, like after Austin's little uh, little uh, flex, uh, let's say it's been a, a little bit of time, and you hear like a bell going off, like a like a, like a town bell, like the bell as it would be in the middle of the city. Great, 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 Clang, 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 and you see people just piling out of their houses, uh, and. Uh, 
and then you see uh, you see the mom and the the other man, uh, generic man that you gave the spear to. You see uh, you see some people like running up to them, and uh, and then you see uh, you see the little boy. His name was Randy. He would have told you that. Um, he uh, you see him point towards you guys, and everybody turns to look, and then they start sprinting at you. That is where we are going to wrap, boys. Okay. And you did tell us what we found in the uh, chest, right? You said there was something else, like story That's where, like, the, that's where, like, the scroll and shit, scroll and shit were. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I told you everything. I thought there was something story-wise that we found that you weren't going to tell you. If I did, I if I if I remember.